Hi, my name is Rabbi Yosef Trauper, and I thank you so much for joining. This is Parshas Vizos Habracha, the last Parsha in the Torah, and the topic is Vibrant Torah. And the purpose of this segment is to provide a short and thought-provoking idea on the Parsha. We find a very interesting Pusik that starts off the Torah portion this week, and it tells us that Moshe Rabbeinu was a strong man. Even though he was 120 years old and he had lived a long and very productive life, nevertheless, the Torah tells us that Moshe Rabbeinu was very strong the Pasuk tells us in 37, 34, 7, Lo kasa His eyes did not diminish at all from their sight, and his bodily functions uh, were all up and running. And this is a very interesting Pasuk. What's the point? Why is the Torah telling us this? And, of course, one simple understanding is that it's telling us that Moshe Rabbeinu was not being replaced by Yehoshua, his successor, because of any lack and deficiency on his part. And it wasn't because he stopped functioning, but of course it was because it was now Yeshua's time to bring the Jews into the Midbar, and it was a new era, and all the commentators explain what that exactly means. But I want to focus on the second understanding that Rebel Yashav Zechert Salak of Rachel brings down in his Sefer, Divrei Agada, and that other Mepharshim say as well. And that is that Torah is meant to be live it, lived in a most lively and productive way. And the Torah is teaching us that our master, Moshe Rabbeinu, and our master teacher, and the one that brought us the Torah, and was one, the one that was the representative that helped us get close to Hashem, and brought the Jews to such an inspirational level, he lived the ideal life where his every ounce of strength was invested into Torah, and yet it never diminished from his strength, and it never wore him out in the physical sense, and he was always able to give his full vigor and his full strength to Torah. And this is such an important lesson in life, that Torah is meant to be lived and to be fulfilled from a place of strength, and that we should invest all of our physical energy into it. The Torah is what gives us strength. The Zikanim, the older people from the Chazal tell us, the older Jewish scholars get stronger and stronger. And of course, not everyone is like Moshe physically, but certainly in a spiritual way and in an intellectual way, and in a way that really counts, people get stronger and stronger. And Moshe even had the physical manifestation of this. And this is such an important thing. Chazal tell us that the Torah, the Torah should be new in our eyes. Because when something's new, it's exciting and interesting. And this youthful vigor is something that is recorded in health, that people are looking to stay young their whole life. And everyone agrees that this positive, youthful energy that people invest in the things that they love and into the things that they're passionate about is the thing that keeps us alive and keeps us going. And this is the exact lesson that the Torah is trying to teach us from Moshe's physical prowess and from his strength. And there are so many things in life that people are looking to find that experience. They want to feel like they're alive. They have to jump out of an airplane to feel like they're alive or a bungee cord to feel like they're alive. And the Torah is telling us that if you want to feel like you're alive, you should invest your energies into Torah. Torah shows us how to live life, and Torah brings us the greatest fulfillment in life. And Moshe Rabbeinu, our leader of a Jewish nation and the quintessential leader, is the one that is expressed as having his full vigor and full strength even at the end of his life, at the end of his 120 productive years. I thank you so much for listening. I welcome your questions, comments, and sponsorship as well. Thank you.